I guess in the world right now, I feel like this is a generalization, but you know, religion is seen as um, kind of a bad thing, something that you know starts wars, starts you know conflicts all over. And I guess I hope that people can see that there is goodness in the faith communities that exist here. It's up to us to kind of help them live that out. I remember uh, Dr. Mountain kind of saying this first thing that Milwaukee is a city of churches. There are just a number of different, I guess I should say, meeting places, congregations for all different faiths throughout the city. As a Jesuit university, the HALO project can teach us how other faiths come to the truths that we accept as well. I really think this project um, exemplifies who we are as a Jesuit school. I don't know of like any other private or public uh, university who would just, you know, have this drive to just go directly into the community. I think it speaks a lot to Marquette's commitment to Milwaukee. And because we are such a powerful force in this city, and we can definitely channel that in a really productive way. So I think this is a good start. Interestingly enough, um, the, the HALO project got its name. A graduate student of mine actually um, submitted a research project probably four years ago now um, looking at the relationship between faith communities and where they were centered in the city of Milwaukee and crime. And the, the name HALO Project is based on whether or not, looking from a research perspective, whether or not there is HALO around a faith community in the sense of is there less or more crime around different types of faith communities. And so that's kind of how the HALO Project started. And I teach a course on Christian discipleship, particularly for the students that live in the Dorothy Day Social Justice Living Learning Community. And one of our hopes in that class is that they learn something about social justice and what's happening in the city of Milwaukee. Um, and that's part of their living learning experience. But in the theology class, it's looking at Christian discipleship. And it seemed to me that Christian discipleship is different now in this religiously pluralistic world. Um, and the students, I, I think th these, are, these are 19 year olds, these are sophomores, and they were really stretched by this experience of having to, even though we, we have a postcard saying, yes, I want to participate, well, they had to make the initial call, they had to set up the appointments, they had to walk into a faith experience that they may never have had before. I mean, for a, um, an evangelical Christian student to walk into a Jewish temple, think about that. Or for a Catholic to walk into a mosque, think about that. As, as it's unfolded though, once we really push them out of the nest okay. to take this responsibility and, and really develop the skills of relationship that they'll need to have two and a half years from now, or two years from now when they graduate. Um, it is really important and they've learned a lot from those faith communities. I really think this project um, exemplifies who we are as a Jesuit school. Uh, I don't know of like any other just private or public uh, university who would just you know have this um, drive to just go directly into the community. After teaching at Marquette for 35 years this is probably an ex more of an experience of transformative education that I've been part of. And I, I shamefacedly say, this is more significant than anything I've done in 35 years. And I would say too, I, I, you know, and that's, I think, that's why the story is so easy to tell. I mean, and, and people, you know, it's, you know they, they say Halo Project and, 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 all, and, it's, and it's, it's something that other people also have resonated with, which is, uh, you know, so it's not only a personal thing, and it has been transformative. It is something that everyone here at Marquette gets because we talk about it. And, and I guess the part that I think is great is we did it, and, and I would do it again. I would, I would do it again. I would say as, as sometimes complicated as the pilot has been, and, and we have, I mean, we've, 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 we've had to make adjustments as we're midstream, make adjustments because, you know, it, it takes more than a week and a half to have a student go and call. I mean, that's one of the things that I've, it takes longer, everything, just like every life. You know, plan this much, add on a third more. One of the things that strikes me is there are very few students five years out of school or 10 years out of school or 15 years out of school that will remember a text that they read for a particular course. I predict that these students will never forget this experience.